everybody. Welcome back to 3-Minute English with Mitch. I'm teaching you little things to help you speak like a native English speaker. Today I want to talk about what does it mean to go off on somebody. Yeah, have you ever gone off on somebody? Go off, past tense, you know, PP if you use PP, gone off. I have gone off on somebody. I went off on somebody, past tense. Uh, what does that mean, to go off on somebody? Well, the phrase, it, you know, we recently we just learned a phrase, go off on a tangent, okay, or go off on a bunny trail, rabbit trail. This is a little different. Going off on somebody means you are suddenly very angry at somebody and you yell at them. You just tell them, say, maybe you say bad words, you're, you're angry at them, so you, you criticize them, you say something to them, not nice, maybe scolding them, uh, anything like that. When you do that, that means you are going off on somebody, okay? You lose your temper, that's what it means, yeah? Do you do that? I hope not. But here's some examples of this. Maybe you say, my girlfriend was so angry because I didn't call her, she just went off on me. Go off, past tense, went off on me. Okay, that means she was very angry at me. I called her and she's yelling at me and I had to put the phone down. It's too noisy. Okay, that's what it means. She went off on me because she was angry. Uh, that driver is so bad, I'm going to go off on him. Yeah, did you ever, when you're driving in traffic, have you ever went off on anybody in traffic? Oh, maybe I'm guilty of that. Uh, don't go off on me. I didn't do anything wrong. Why are you going off on me? Okay, you can say it like that too. Like, hey, don't go off on me. Don't yell at me. Don't be angry at me. I didn't do anything. Okay, so there you go. You can use it in many different situations. Try to use it in the comment section below. And also try not to go off on anybody today. Don't go off on me. 